Now welcome to another edition of News from Naboo with the horse lightning takes. And let's get right to the news. We're going to go over some of the collecting options that were presented at SDCC from Hasbro, our favorite company ever. Really? No. Favorite? No, not at all. We'll start with the vintage collection. We got to see Thrawn, but it's not from Ahsoka. This is the Star Wars Rebels version. Is it different? It might be. Because it's not the likeness of Perhaps. Lars Mikkelsen. It is not the likeness of Lars. I didn't get a great look at Thrawn in his trailer. There may have been differences on his uniform or something. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Five o'clock shadow. <laughs> Probably well, no, not that, but yeah. They're also getting Ahsoka from Ahsoka. Rosario Dawson likeness included. Next up, we've got Pre Vizsla from the Clone Wars. Got a dark saber in there. Before he had it uh, taken away, along with his head. <laughs> along with his head. He's a relative of Pre Vizsla. Paz Vizsla. He's a relative Paz of Pre. Paz Vizsla. We don't know the exact connection there, do we? Like a cousin or something? A long lost in his uncle. house, for sure. Something. Yeah. Next, they're getting Darth Revan, which we have already gotten in the Black Series line. This is the KOTOR version, of course. Yeah, very cool. It's the Dark Darth Revan. <laughs> Dark Revan, yes. Yes. Dark side, yes. For the six inch line, we also just got light side Revan. We got both. We got them both. Up next, we've got Deluxe Sabine with Lothcat from Ahsoka. Yes, adding in the Lothcat made it Deluxe. <laughs> even though Sabine is more of a lift figure in the first place. Yeah, then not a lot of plastic going into that one. But you know what and we yet, should do? We should put a little tiny cat with her and say it's expensive. They have no shame at Hasbro, do no, they? No, none at all. It's just, I mean, that used to be... Just a figure. Oh, you know what? Since she's kind of smaller, why don't we just include something else with her? You know, I don't know, a little loft cat, and we'll just ship it. Yeah. No, now that's deluxe. Deluxe. Because there's an extra two cents worth of plastic in there. We have to say deluxe, Sabine Ren. So Ren. ridiculous. Because it comes with a loft cat. Interestingly, they also showed us Life Day Chewbacca, a Shop Disney, Disney Parks exclusive. If you want a Chewbacca with a really awkward looking robe and... Yeah, I weird totally don't fur. want that. I don't know. His, his arm fur looks really weird because they want him, like, in the sleeves to... I don't know. He gets a tiny little orb. He's probably going to have a lot of trouble holding. No, they'll shape the hand. And no, the... no, they didn't. No, they never do that. They, they did not make it Whenever easy. they give you something to hold, it's still the trigger finger hand. They don't mm-hmm. care. <laughs> they could have at least, like, given, like, a peg <laughs> insert or something so that you can kind of, like, insert it into the hand so it can look like he's holding no. it well. No, trigger finger. He's no. trying to fire that They thing. drop everything. Remember the Red Skull Marvel figure that came with the uh, Tesseract? Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, yeah, he had a trigger finger like every other figure. And you're like, how is he supposed to hold out of this without losing it the first time it falls over? Good you luck. You would think he'd want to hold on to that, too. Well, the Cal Kestis figure has the same with problem. With it, yeah. With the hologram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They also showed an Imperial Officers 4-pack. That was cool. The Shop Disney Hasbro yeah. Pulse exclusive. I like when they do those cute little 4-packs. It's nice. You get a little cute army little, collection. Yeah. and. No, I like those. I think those are good. Those are nice for them. Black army Series building collections. Black Series to do that. Yeah. Speaking of Black Series, let's move into that now. We have a correct size R2-D2 <laughs> in the packaging of The Mandalorian. Yeah, I don't know why it's like The Mandalorian R2. But yeah. does it matter? It's R2. He we saw R2 in dirty. The Mandalorian. The only, yeah, the only no, kind of we variation didn't. is, like, dirty. Our, we do. Oh, we... Season? Yes, very, on, very well. I thought they were talking about the book of... They could have named him the book of Boba Fett R2. Yeah, he was in there, too. <laughs> he gets around. But they went with the Mandalorian R2. Why not? He's now the correct size, and he's got that feature where you can, like, pull his head up and store all of his little, little compartments fast, inside cool. of him, because... Or else you might lose them all. Like, ten years later, they finally make a correct size R2. Mm-hmm. You know, take your time. It's a good thing we don't have a whole bunch of astromechs then that are the wrong oh, size. Oh, no, yeah, like... Good, Other R2s that are all the wrong size. Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. We've also got Ahsoka from Ahsoka. Just like in the Vintage Collection version, here is a 6-inch version. Yep. Same figure. We're getting General Hera Syndulla from Ahsoka. I still don't like that her Leku are more behind her head. When the Hera from the show, they kind of stick out to the sides a bit more. Yeah, they do seem kind mm-hmm. of... Yeah, a little not awkward. Not quite right, yeah. Maybe it's just because of the human element, but we're getting Sabine Wren from Ahsoka as well. But is it deluxe? Does it come with a lock? It doesn't come with a lock. <laughs> it has a removable helmet. I think you pointed out that you think her neck is too long. In one of the images, the neck looked really long, yeah. Maybe it was just the angle. I think it was the angle. I hope it's the angle because otherwise... Well, if you put her helmet on, that might helmet. make it better, too. Yeah, but I. what if I want to display without the helmet on? Yeah, what if you want to do that? I don't want giraffe neck, Sabine. <laughs> Surprise it's not, de- not deluxe because of the extra long neck. 
Then they released a whole bunch of new holiday figures. Last year, I was really disappointed, and I swore off the holiday line because Walmart canceled my orders. You had two of them canceled last year. Yeah, two of them. Because I was collecting the holiday line. I like just to put them out for Christmas. Yep, this is true. And then I got really annoyed and angry because they canceled them, including one of my Halloween ones. The Halloween Wookiee one, yeah. and then they canceled a Christmas one, and you're like, I'm done. I'm, yeah. I'm getting rid of these. I don't was, care anymore. I was and really then, ticked, and now they got another line, and some of them look really, really good. Yeah. Well, cute. Starting with the holiday Ewok slash Porg from Shop Disney. It's a cute little... I knew as soon as I saw, as I saw it, I'm like, she's going to want this. Well, it's so cute, and you could just, you know, do a little painting on him, maybe, and make him go with the other Ewoks, but he's a white Ewok. Yeah, he's like a no bino Ewok. He's really cool. Then they've got the... Holiday Jawa with Salacious Crumb, who looks like Little Grinch. <laughs> kind of. The sure. Jawa's dressed like a Santa, and the Salacious Crumb is colored like the Grinch. I didn't even realize that until you pointed it out. Really? I didn't really think a good look at it. I wasn't like, oh my god, let's analyze this from all angles. Wow. Who are you? Somebody who likes real figures, not Christmas Then there's figures. the Holiday KX droid that comes with the BD-1 droid. Those ones are, there's nothing really cool about this one. No, they're just painted. They're just painted. I mean, it's, the other ones are just kind of painted, too. But what, Well, they themed better, the other ones. I mean, you had... The other one has a little more accessories and kind of, yeah. The Ewok is just cute because it's an Ewok. The Jawa is done up like Santa and the Grinch. This one is just this one. Hmm, Whites and blues that. and a little splattering of color. You know, whatever. Holiday Mando from Amazon, which is kind of cute because it's got the... It's got a little Anzellan with it, but it's got, like, the ugly sweater thing going on. Yeah, cute. Cute. It's great. <laughs> This I mean, I can't believe, like, these are that popular where they just keep making them. They must be, though. The next two are my favorite. The Holiday Purge Trooper from Fan Channel. He's done up to look like the Nutcracker. Yeah. That's, that's Did you cool. not realize that either? Uh, no, because I didn't really look at it. He's the Nutcracker. It's the only one I really looked at was the Ewok. And he's the Purge the... Trooper, and they said weird things about pain. Ah, I love the pain. He's a Nutcracker. It's kind of funny. Oh, my In God. an ironic kind of way. Come, you remember the weird things I... Purge Troopers say. <laughs> I don't remember them being that weird. Yeah, Yeah, they said some weird things. Lots of weird things. I don't know about lots, but yeah. Lots. Takes a special breed to be a purge trooper. And last, but certainly not least, our target exclusive, the snow trooper snowman with Imperial Probe Droid. Yep. Looks amazing. It's kind of cute. I hate that I like them because I'm mad at them. Yeah, you were really, you said you were done last year. Mm -hmm. I I want to continue to, I would like to continue to be done because... They're just going to cancel them again. They're just going to cancel them again, and I can feel that that's what they're going to do to me. And the ones that I like the most are the ones that are going to be annoying to order. Just let them go. I know. Shut up. We also got to look at the pipeline figure for Black Series, the Black Series Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano Padawan. Yes. Yes, we got to look at her. Yes, an actual look. It yeah, looks good. it looks really good. She she can do the signature cross arm poses. She's kind of got the little smirky face that she's known for. I no, really I like it. Really. I really think this is a really good figure. It's gonna look great with the Clone Wars Anakin and Obi Wan. Yeah, yeah, she looks really good. Yeah, even though it should be her earlier outfit that would go with those figures, but I, they're never gonna make the skimpy outfit Ahsoka. I, I don't know why they yeah. ever went that route anyway. But hey, let's move on. All the Ahsoka related merchandise from this list. Is going to be pre-ordering starting on August 10th. Pre-orders for the Vintage Collection Life Day Chewbacca is November 1st. I'll mark that one on the calendar. And this is this is where I get the most angry. The Black Series Holiday Edition figures will not be available for pre-order and will drop in stores and online when available. Sure they will. They'll just, oh yeah, they're available now and then they'll be sold out. Can you pre-order them after Halloween, like with the Chewbacca one? Let's not talk about it. Or wasn't it? No, they del- they were going to deliver it after Halloween, and then they just didn't deliver it at all. And they just canceled it. It was yeah. like, why? You let me pre-order it, which means I reserved one. That's usually what a pre-order means. We also got to look at the HasLab project, the Ghost $500 price tag, and it is nearly fully funded already. Yeah, last I looked, uh, it's over 7000 th- yeah. yeah, it's under 1000 away from and getting this is the full Sunday funding. Sunday night we are recording this. I'm surprised this a little, but it is pretty big it's huge it's it's absolutely huge big. i mean it's i don't a, don't remember quite the size of the sail barge I, mine's still in the box so <laughs> along with the razor crest still in the box both are well that's because we're going to blow the razor constant. crest up because no. we have to be screen accurate i don't think i'm getting the ghost though no don't get the ghost i'll be mad the other two are i just have no room for them yeah you don't want room for those two why do you want to have room for another one yeah i i just black series takes up so much space and other things. It does include the Phantom 2 shuttle 
It includes the vintage collection Hera as well. The base for it was 8,000 backers, and like we said, it's under 1,000 away now. Additional backers, at 11,000 you can get Ezra Bridger. He comes with a lightsaber, blaster, the custom painted scout trooper helmet from the show, and a white loth cat. Oh, that should make him deluxe, shouldn't it? <laughs> it's deluxe Ezra Bridger. Wow, you get that in the, the Ahsoka Sabine and you can have two loth cats. Ooh. I know. Then you <laughs> can have a lot more loth cats when they get together. At 14,000, they add in Kanan Jarrus. He comes with a lightsaber, a blaster, and two heads, a blind head, and a not blind head, as well as the face mask he would wear. The And that's the yeah. looks too. It's funny how when they put him in the package, they're like, that doesn't matter. Cause, yeah, whatever. Okay, yeah. And at 17,000 backers, you get Zeb. He comes with a bow staff with electro effects. That's, so what yeah. do you think about the... The figures all come carded, and it's a unique card because they use the mural background. Mural, yeah. So what do you think about... I mean, I'm, I know we're not getting it, but no. what do you think about the ghost? Do you think that was a good choice? I mean, obviously it was. It's I feel getting back to real quick. It's interesting because, of course, she is coming from the new show. They're also going to have the ghost in there. We're yeah. 90% sure. 100%, yeah. But it's cool because when you order this one and when you add in the extras, you're getting all those Rebels figures. And a lot of the Ahsoka show is giving you the figures so you could dress this either way. Yeah. Because... The Vintage Collection is getting Ahsoka, as well as a Deluxe Sabine, which you could put in the ship. I believe the it's supposed to more resemble the Ahsoka version, right? I think the there's not Rebels much version. of a difference. I don't think there's a ton of difference, but I, I, I could have swore. I haven't looked into a ton. We had a busy weekend and a lot I of other things. I feel like it done. has to be more of the Rebels version, or why would they be backing it with all the Rebels figures? Well, I think you could do it either way, but I, I thought I heard it was more based on the Ahsoka look, but maybe I'm wrong. Eh, we'll find out soon enough. And then as for the pipeline, we'll start with Vintage Collection. They're getting Axe Wolves, Mando Season 3, Mandalorian Fleet Commander. He has a name. I don't know what I keep... No, it's just Mandalorian Fleet Commander. Mandalorian. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be a little That's more specific Din, to that? Din Djarin. Ma- oh, the Mandalorian. Din I thought he mentioned meant... Yeah, Mandalorian. Grogu. Cassian Andor. Phase 1 Clone Trooper, Count Dooku, but most interesting on the list is Finn. That is interesting. We haven't gotten a sequel, that is a sequel trilogy character trilogy in ages. Character. But it's the interesting that we're broken. putting Finn back in when we're hearing rumors that Finn might be coming back to Star Wars. He's coming back. There's no way he's not coming he back. He said, I'll only come back if you make me in vintage. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was a stipulation. <laughs> I want a new vintage collection figure of me. Do we uh, know what uh, iteration of Finn this is? Didn't say. It just showed a picture of Finn's wow. head. I think it looked like the Rise of Skywalker from what... I don't think they made a Rise of Skywalker fin, did they? Or Vintage? There no, was... they made so many figures from The Force Awakens there was room for no other. Yeah. Yeah, they had one wave of uh, Vintage. And I know then... they made Poe, but I don't think they made Finn. And then for Black Series, the pipeline, we got a Jedi Order 3-pack from Amazon. I know you were angry about it. Why is it... It's like a new... Again, I didn't... It's two I figures you have and one you don't. I would have watched the live stream, so instead I've kind of watched some Twitter feeds, so I don't exactly know, and I haven't had a chance to look all this up. You kind of did. I don't know if this is what versions these are of these characters. The only picture they showed looked like Inquisitor Cal Kestis. Yeah, it looks like second sister, like Inquisitor Cal, and then a Purge Trooper. And we already have second sister, we already have Purge Trooper, so we're getting like... I, I don't really understand. I mean, depending on what they do, like I said, I didn't get to see any of the stream, but it'd be cool if it was the second sister of maybe a removable helmet. That would be awesome. Because yes. then you okay. could actually see I would be behind it 100% if you give me one without a helmet. I'll be behind it 90% because, I mean, not that you can't have multiple purge troopers, but yeah, I, would, of, I, I don't like multi-packs unless they're all new characters and they're all... I'm okay with a new purge trooper, especially if they give us different weapons because there were so many different variations yeah. to which purge trooper weapons they used yeah we got two from fallen order and then we've got a kenobi purge trooper as well so mm-hmm. they also announced the super battle droid and c-3po2 pack from hasbro <sighs> pulse same complaint from the last one i want multiple battle droids but i don't need multiple c-3po c-3po headed battle droids unless they you're gonna just... give me the original head as well they should just make it a three pack and do two super battle droids and one C-3PO with weird... No, no, I don't even want... I don't want but to be But then you're still going to get two super battle droids. Yeah, but what if I want four or six or a hundred? Then 
you can destroy a C-3PO and make one dead on the battlefield? Like, rip the head off and have, like, a dead-looking That already happened. Battle droid? I'm just reenacting what happened in the movie. Yeah, so you could have one that was together All and I'm one that is, looks like just a dead battle droid with no I, head. I hope or wish the battle droid was just individually packed or will be at some point because I do not want multiple C-3PO headed battle droids. I know. And Unless I can put the, uh, the, it comes with the regular Genosis looking So you can darker put that droid. head on instead. Yes. That's better, but that still makes me buy multiple yeah. when I already have several Genosian battle droids. And last, we saw a Droidica. Yay! Which will probably be Deluxe. Well, of course. Come on now. I hope it comes with the bubble so it looks like you can have a shield. Probably will. That's what makes it Deluxe. It's going to be in a big package. I there. want it to roll. Not on its own. Like, you got to push it. I'm not saying I want it to, like, tra- like those Transformers we saw. We don't want to talk about them because they were yeah, too cool. That actually transform and do stuff. <laughs> Hasbro's like, you want a Transformer, right? We partnered with a robotics company, and this Transformer can transform and walk around and do stuff. And has a voice acting commands and all these things. It was cool. All right, I guess we should get to new this week in Star Wars, etc. Um, it's Monday, but there will be no memes this week because I over memed last week. Yeah, you over memed. I and memed we over. Had a busy, busy weekend and just could not get to it this week. Wednesday, comics. Wow, did I spell that wrong? I was writing in a hurry. Dark, Darth Varder. <laughs> Darth Varder. Darth Varder. No, you just you just put Varder. You didn't put Vader. You no. kind of can. I just yeah. Varder. Black, white, and red. Number four. All right. Then the waste of money, known as Mandalorian season two, number two, because it's just going to be the same thing you saw on screen with no added extras and fun stuff. Yep. We also will get the conclusion of Secret Invasion. Episode six will be coming and out. We'll get to know how it three. ends. Unless the ending is also a secret, where Kevin Feige comes out and does the Men in Black flash and we forget the show happened. Please? Can you do that? Thursday, we've got our prequel to the Ahsoka series, going over characters and maybe now concepts that could be seen in the show that you might want to brush up on. We're going to be featuring the World Between Worlds this week. Next week, we'll be featuring Ahsoka. It's going to be more of a Thor ramble on that, ain't it? Yeah, because Naboo needs a break. (laughs) We've also got voice chat, 8 p.m. Central Time. And The Witcher Part 2 of Season 3 will be coming out. We'll see the last episodes of our Henry Cavell. The real Witcher? Geralt of Rivia. I mean, the number is already down for this season. Can you imagine next season what it's going to look like? I feel so sad because this season actually stuck with the books pretty well. I have been reading the Witcher books in whatever free time I can manage. And I have read Book 3 and there are a lot of similarities. Mm, Fair enough. All right, well, that is going to be all we got for you this time. So now it's your turn to take to the comments below and tell us what you think of any and all of today's news. And let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.